Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. In the last video, we left off by creating this really basic HTML5 document. And now we're going to start filling it with some of the new elements, the new tags that we can now use with HTML5. And some of these tags really don't have a whole lot of meaning other than just semantic meaning where uh, we're going to be using them where we would normally use a div or something. But a div doesn't have any sort of semantic meaning. It's just a, you know, it's just denoting some sort of, you know, content. There's no meaning there. So where uh, HTML5 really succeeds is having a lot of options for tags with semantic uh, meaning that, you know, is going to help us out. So first one is the header tag. And now we're going to wrap our H1, and this is going to be the header of our page. We're going to wrap this in just a tag that just says header. and this isn't going to do too much. Uh, it's going to be just like a div, except for it's going to let, uh, you know, the browser know that this is the header, right? So you may be asking yourself, uh, so you just use this tag once and it's the header. Well, no, not exactly. Uh, we'll go over the specifics more on, you know, an entire video, re you know, about header itself. But header can be used as the just header of content. So maybe your blog post title has a header on it itself. But for our entire document, we're using this header tag. The next one is section. And section is also just like a div tag. And the thing about section is, is it's really just grouping content together. And it's saying that this content is related. This is a section of the site. And we're going to have this be the section, and it's going to be class equals main content. And I'm just doing this because this section is going to be the main content section. So that's really what it is. So that's no, you know, it's nice and easy. In fact, I'm going to grab some hipster ipsum text just to throw in here, uh, just one paragraph, just so we have some stuff. Grab it. And just like that. Okay, let's check out our page to see how it's doing. Okay, you'll notice nothing's really changing. Nothing's crazy here. We have our header, we have our section. Cool. So these two new tags aren't really that exciting so far. And in fact, the third one is going to be the same level of excitement. It's going to be footer. And uh, just like the header and the section, uh, footer really doesn't have any stylistic purpose or anything. Its meaning is purely semantic. And that's great news for us because now your browser knows what content is in your footer. And this maybe uh, is going to allow it to prioritize that information, whether it's for SEO purposes or uh, accessibility, that kind of thing. So if we just had an unordered list with five list items in it and I'm actually just going to fill these in with just some test, just so we have something here. Um, that's a little bit like what we would have on a, a normal site. Okay, so let's check out our page once more, and you'll be unsurprised to see nothing's changed. You know, we don't really have anything crazy going on. And just like the header element, the footer element does not just mean the footer of your page. It means the footer of the area of content. So maybe you have a footer to your blog post that has meta information or something like that. That would also be included in this. And we have another tag, it's called aside. And aside is going to be used for content that isn't your main content, it's your aside content. Aside content doesn't mean that it's a sidebar or something like that, it just means that it's not your main content, it's sort of secondary to your main content, it's just, you know, it's a side. So we can gonna say as side right here, and we're gonna have, I'm gonna to just throw a little bit of this paragraph in here, and here we go. Okay, and notice nothing really changes. It's just another block level element as usual. But it does let your browser know 
that this content isn't as important as the stuff in your main content section or other places on your site, and it could give it some insight as to what could possibly be there. Okay, so here we've showed you four new tags, all of which are purely semantic, but that's one of the great things about HTML5 is that it's offering that possibility where before every single one of these would have been a div with a class of something, and looking at the HTML wouldn't really have told you a ton about what that content is in the structure of your site. It says HTML is all about structure. This is absolutely perfect in some of the greatest things about HTML5. So check it out, play around with them, and we're going to be building a more complex example like a blog in some of the later videos, and you can see how these tags are used in other contexts. So check it out. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Level Up Tuts or on Facebook or just anything. As always, this is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.